Uh, growing up in Mississippi, my prayer was, for as long as I can remember, God, use me. Use me. Use this life. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I know that there is a vision for my life that is greater than my imagination can hold. Use me. Use me. What would you have me to do? And that dream, that desire, that prayer brought me somehow to television. And she's going to learn that this life will hit you hard in the face, wait for you to get back up just so it can kick you in the stomach. But getting the wind knocked out of you is the only way to remind your lungs how much they like the taste of air. If, if we want to give all of our children a foundation for their dreams and opportunities worthy of their promise, if, if we want to give them that sense of limitless possibility, that belief that here in America, there is always something better out there if you're willing to work for it, then we must work like never before. To those waiting with bated breath for that favorite media catchphrase, the U-turn, I have only one thing to say. You turn if you want to. The ladies not for turning. You might never fail on the scale I did, but some failure in life is inevitable. It is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all in which case you fail by default. Each of us must truly be a woman in the world. We need to be as fearless as the women whose stories you have applauded, as committed as the dissidents and activists you have heard from, as audacious as those who start movements for peace, when all seems lost. Together, I do believe it is part of the American mission to ensure that people everywhere, women and men alike, finally have the opportunity to live up to their own God-given potential. با سلامی گرم به برنامه مادر و کودک خوش آمدید. سال 2016 رو دوباره به تک تک شما مادران، زنان، خواهران و عزیزانی که با ما بودید در این سال گذشته شاد باد و امیدوارم که سالی باشه برای تک تک شما تو هم با موفقیت، با صلح درونی و صلحی که بتونین در خانواده با دوستان با جامعتون کمک بکنین و به وجود بیارین این برنامه مام تاک هدفش در اصل ارتقاء آگاهی و کمک رسانی به زنان مادران خانواده ها و آن کسانی هست که کوشا هستند برای بهتر کردن زندگیشون و خودشون و از کسانی که در این راه پیشرو هستند و به قول معروف لیدرشپ دارند در کامیونیتی یکی از دوستان عزیز من لیز سفادک که در برنامه های گذشته با ایشون آشنا هستین ایشون فاوندر و به صلاب کسی هستند که واریر مامز رو به وجود آوردن و ایده بود که در اجتماع در جامعه ایشون زنانی که با همدیگه 
افکارشون رو گذاشتن در کنار هم و تصمیم گرفتن که همدیگر رو کمک بکنن و در این ارتقا در رهبری در کارهای خوب در جامعه همدیگر رو کمک بکنن uh, Liz, welcome to Mom Talk Thank you so much, It's thanks for having me Thank you for coming, it's always a pleasure We're here to talk about inspiring women in today's world. Um, I have known you for uh, several years now, and you are one of those inspirational women. I, when I see you, whether it's in a social situation, personal, professional, I'm always inspired. Tell me, how do you do that? How do you bring that energy into your relationships, into your um, connections with other women, other families, on a day-to-day -day basis? First of all, that's so nice of you to say. <laughs> um, I think, first of all, I have a, a kind of a natural, uh, hyper and buoyant personality. I think yeah, that helps yeah, me. Yeah. But truly, I'm so passionate mm -hmm. about connecting women mm -hmm. and learning, and I'm curious. And I think when you have passion in your life and you're curious and you care, um, I'm always trying to think about making moments more than just passing the time. I want to make a moment better how what what can i bring to make it better who can i bring together to make something really interesting happen who do i know that could help this person and when you come in with that mm -hmm. sometimes these amazing things actually happen so i'm always looking to try to create that that's what i that's my goal in life wonderful and yes. i know as women uh, i know we are very connectional we grow in connectional beings or connectional um, experiences and so how wonderful when we come together and we're able to learn about each other's dreams and inspire each other or help each other in ways that we can and um, really uh, when we go to the core and the roots of peace learning uh, it's how women and children are treated in every society that determine how much peace they're experiencing and I know we were talking about this earlier how sometimes as women we're depleted we're exhausted we're working so yes. hard we're juggling so hard yes and yes. so you know it's really important to help each other um, decompress heal make better choices yes, so that yes. the families will be healthier yes and I think I mean that's one of the reasons I even started the warrior moms yeah. truthfully was one of the reasons I did it is because I was noticing this I was noticing all these women that were really just taxed to their limits mm -hmm. and nobody feels that they want to take time for themselves and it's very important people don't realize what that does to your family what are you modeling mm -hmm. to your ch children if you are not taking time for yourself mm -hmm. if you are showing them that you are too busy to care for yourself you're showing them that they are too busy to care for themselves when you're happier they see that when you're modeling having peaceful time in your house, mm -hmm. then they are gonna go have peaceful time in their house. Maybe they'll play independently. But you need to model that self-care for them so that they will take care of themselves. Otherwise, how, are they, how will they learn? Right. Yeah, that's um, such an important mission, I think, in all of our families is a, a big piece of bringing more peace or peace learning into our family is how do we regulate? How do we take those pauses? And I am so grateful that you are taking this um, warrior mom community into this uh, mission or uh, focus, this consciousness of really slowing things down yes. and focusing on what's important and what's real and reminding each other because sometimes when we're in it, I've been in it myself, yes. I, I, I don't, I'm not conscious anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm disconnected, whether it's because of technology or life's, today's life pressure. Um, and so it's nice to have support, to have that sisterhood bond where we can remind each other and say, hey, you know, do you want to go for a walk or do you want to go for a hike or do you want to go get a cup of tea when we are depleted? Yes, and I think, you know, one of the reasons why we created the, the actually we're starting the book. Yeah. Um, just yeah, to talk about, about the book. Yeah, the let me book. tell you about yeah, the book. The book. Um, so we wanted to do uh, a collection of stories mm -hmm. um, and it would be a collection of stories where women would tell mm -hmm. about their lives and they would tell us um, an inspirational story. So even though I know women go through a lot of hardships, I know after they kind of get on the other side of things, they have such great lessons to teach. Right. So we really wanted to 
get a compilation of stories, almost like a chicken soup for the soul, for women, mm -hmm. something that feels good to go to, mm -hmm. or you know, you pick it up when you're having a low moment and it's kind of a comfort, it's a lesson, it's a place to go, where you can say, I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These women have been through these things too, they go through it, They look how far they came. Mm -hmm. um, and there'll be celebrities in the book um, and bloggers and different moms, but I would rather have, I'd also like to have real stories of real women who mm -hmm. are um, going through things, moms who are going through things. So you can go to our site um, and you can log on there and you can sign up and you can send us an email with your story and we'll consider putting it in the book. But um, I just felt like there needed to be something for women to go to, something that they could know that there is a shared experience mm -hmm. and that we all go through crazy things in our lives yeah. and, we, and we get through it. Yeah. You know, you don't think you will at the time. Um, but sharing your story as I've told you many times, sharing your story, I think, is everything. It's healing. It's, it's very healing. healing. Yes. And the children, I've noticed, um, are so curious and so interested when they hear um, your stories. And I've noticed wh whether it's grandpa or grandma or aunt or uncle, you know, storytelling about some of their personal experiences. There's a lot of learning and bonding that occurs during those storytelling opportunities. Absolutely. And I think for some women, that's how you find your voice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you've been through something tough. You know, a lot of women hide away, mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. that was part of my story. I, everything that happened to me, I felt like I wanted to hide away. I didn't want to share my story, but I I noticed when I did finally share my story, and I was brave enough to kind of tell people all that I had been through. Mm -hmm. I didn't want any pity. You know, I didn't want sympathy. I just I wanted, and I didn't want people to feel sorry for me. Mm -hmm. But I realized that no, women want to hear. I'm not alone. I went through this terrible thing too, and now I have women that are unafraid to come to me when they're going through something terrible because they know I've been through it and that I made it and that they can talk to me freely. Um, if, if you um, can go back to those difficult days uh, of your personal like, struggles and experiences, uh, what were some of those uh, peak moments or peak experiences that you can share with our viewers that would be inspirational to m maybe some moms who are struggling with uh, postpartum depression right. or um, similar struggles? Well, I definitely, one of my big struggles with was with infertility. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, that was a really hard time in my life because as a woman, you feel like you're just automatically, you should be able to have a baby. It should be like the easiest thing in the world. And when it wasn't, and I started really questioning, like, why is this happening to me? And it was a, I went really to a bad place. You know, I felt terrible. Mm -hmm. I felt ashamed. Mm -hmm. and. You know, sharing that with other women, I, it was funny. It's like a little secret nobody talks about. You know, mm -hmm. I, I remember I sh at a party, I just was so exhausted. I just happened to just blurt out that I was going through infertility and I was going through IVF. And another woman at the party said, oh my gosh, I went through that for five years and I finally got my son. You know, it's kind of a little dark secret mm -hmm. that women don't talk about. But when I talked about it, I noticed that it became nothing. It was like I shine, I shine a little light in the mm -hmm. dark place mm -hmm. and it became really kind of a, a point where people were, were like, wow, I didn't know you went through that and you're so strong. And you know, you do receive a lot of respect and gratitude from other women when they realize, oh my gosh, you have been, you, your life isn't perfect. <laughs> you're okay. You're just like me. Everything is, you, things fall apart sometimes. Um, but I went through that and yeah. then I had a uh, really, really tough times with my son when he was born. Mm -hmm. He was in the hospital for 52 days mm. and um, on life support and a ventilator and I mean just everything you can imagine. We, he had a stroke. We weren't sure that he would if he would live or die. And I, when you go th home from the hospital without a child, yeah, yeah. I mean the pain of going home from a hospital without your baby mm. is almost too much to bear, truthfully. Yeah. And I, but I hid away. And only when I told people all of a sudden people showed up for me. They were bringing meals to the house. Mm. They were trying to, you know, help me out in any way to come sit with me in the hospital. Mm. You know, I mean, and I at first didn't want that to happen, but you know what, that was healing for me mm -hmm. and healing for them. Mm -hmm. And it gives another person a chance to show up for you mm -hmm. and to do something. And now I have a friend right now who, whose baby's in the hospital and it's been um, very, very hard on their family. And mm -hmm. I mean, the minute she texted me, and I was so glad she did, mm -hmm. that she reached out, I said, I'm coming to your house with food and you cannot stop me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm coming to your house. Um, but 
you know, I, I think I've learned from that. You can't hide away. You mm -hmm. have to share your story. It brings healing. Mm -hmm. It brings peace. It helps you find your voice. Mm -hmm. um, it helps you reaffirm your values. Mm -hmm. You know, I became much more faith-filled after I went through all this. I was praying more than I ever had because mm -hmm. th that's what I needed. That's what I needed to, and I, it reaffirmed my faith. So I think it's really valuable to mm -hmm. share your story, mm -hmm. and that's, you know, what Lisa, my, my co-founder, and I uh, want people to do with this book. Wonderful. I'm going to take a few um, moments to translate some of this because it's such valuable information and your life experiences are so valuable um, to you viewers. Binandegan uh, Gerami, بخشی از این قصه گویی یا درد و دل کردن ما وقتی که ما یه مشکلی که داریم برای لیز در ابتدا مشکل انفرتیلیتی بود یا مسئله بود که بچه دار نمیتونستن بشن و اول این رو پنهان کرده بودن و نمی خواستن که با دوستانشون با دیگران صحبت بکنن در برش. ولی وقتی به یه جایی رسید که در یکی از مهمانیایی که بود این رو شیر کرد با دوستاش و درد و دل کرد براش خیلی این به صلاح پروسه و تجربه خیلی خوشی بود چرا که مادرای دیگه هم که با همین مشکل به صلاح رو به رو بودن تونستن که با او درد و دل بکنن و بگن که او ما هم همین طور ما هم همین مشکل داشتیم و بعد این تبدیل شد به یه چیزی که طبیعی هستش و بخشی از زندگی و بخشی از به صلاح همون لایف سترگلای هستش که فیلیاری هستش که ما در اصل نیاز داریم نیازمند هستیم بهش که رشد بکنیم مغز ما جوری نمیتونه پرورش یا رشد بکنه مگه اینکه اجازه بهش بدیم که در این به صلاح مشکلات در این چالش ها پرورش پیدا بکنه و با گفتگو کردن با درد و دل کردن با باز صحبت کردن که میدونم خیلی از اوقات در به صلاح فرهنگ ما تبو هستش یا استگما هستش یا نمیخوایم صحبت بکنیم برای اینکه راحت تره که پنهانی باهاش روبرو بشیم ولی وقتی که باز میکنیم خودمون رو درد و دل میکنیم به خصوص ما زنان به خصوص ما مادران ما خواهر خواهر با خواهر یا دوست با دوست یک رابطه خیلی نزدیکتر و تنگا تنگ و تنگ تری به وجود میاد و and there is more intimacy when we're vulnerable yes. when we open up we we um we're nurturing intimacy in our vulnerability absolutely and yeah absolutely yeah well thank you for sharing your story and i'm sure many of you viewers are inspired <laughs> اگر که دوست دارین با لیز و قصه لیز و کامیونیتی لیز که واریر مامز هستن آشنا بشین و با او تماس داشته باشین و جزوی از کامیونیتی واریر مامز باشین How can they get in touch with you and join your community? Yes, yeah, so uh, what you can do is you can go on our website which is uh, www.thewarriormoms.com 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 yeah, right there, there you go www.thewarriormoms.com <laughs> uh, and then you can hit a button it says sign up Okay So you sign up and then you'll be able to get uh, information from us. And then going to the site, you'll see, we were gonna start to populate the site with a lot of great information. Mm -hmm. um, we're about to start, uh, launch the tribe mm -hmm. section of the site mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. you'll be able to find like-minded moms mm -hmm. uh, that you can kind of connect with. Mm -hmm. um, and also you can email us from there, uh, info at thewarriormoms.com. Uh, mm -hmm. And you can tell us your story. Mm -hmm. And we we may share it on the site. We may ask you to, to interview for the book. So if you have a story you want to share, we would love to hear. پس اگر قصه زندگی شما جالب هستش و میخواین در این کامیونیتی در این جامعه واریر مامز بیشتر انوالف بشین کانکتد بشین حتما به وبسایت برین سابسکرایب بکنین براتون یه ایمیل میفرستن به ایمیل باکستون کانفرم بکنین و در اون موقع شما بخشی از این کامیونیتی و سرکل واریر مامز خواهین بود که اگر ایونتی دارن اگر تل سمیناری دارن کارهای جالبی که میکنن در آینده که در کتابشون دوست دارین باشین قصتون گفته بشه در وبسایتشون در کتابشون میتونین جوین بکنین واریر مامز و کامیونیتی هستش که من خودم هم باشون انوالف خواهم بود و دعوتتون میکنم که این کامیونیتی رو جوین بکنین حتما one of the topics hot topics that we discuss every time we have a chance whether it's in the parking lot or carpool <laughs> any minute <laughs> we can any minute we have is how do we slow things down how yes. do we take more pauses um, and i know you have been very good and conscious 
anxious about it. And I know as a community, we're encouraging each other to um, pause more. We have a, a fun video clip on this. Yes. So let's take a look at this video clip. And then when we come back, we like to talk about how do we take those precious moments to pause and relax and become more conscious parents. Thanks. Stay with us. Objection deadline to the third line after survey. Oh, honey, for, for when you are, you always use the verb that's star. What are you doing down there? Did you finish your breakfast? Ow. <laughs> Don't hit your brother. <laughs> honey, you have to eat something. Here. Okay, five minutes to carpool. Where's my coffee? Mm. You okay, Mom? Oh, I'm fine. Sandwich orders. What do you want? Almond butter and jelly. Spaghetti. Oh, you sure you're okay? I'm fine, sweetie. I am so late. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Uh, hey, honey. Hmm. You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Oh, yeah. Here. Acai, my favorite. See you guys later. Bye. Where are your shoes? Put your shoes back on, please. You know, go help your sister. We're going in three minutes. Oh my God, what am I doing? I forgot to cut off the crust. Voila, shoes on, potty if you need it. Honey, get your sister. Okay, get your shoes. Nobody move. I'm getting a dustpan. Oh. Mom! Mm. I think you're having a heart attack. Honey, do I look like the type of person who has a heart attack? Totally fine. Don't forget to wear the high socks with the shin guards. Forget about the shin guards, Mom. <gasps> Come on, Mrs. Onerdog is not gonna wait. <sighs> oh. Okay. Nine. One. One. <sighs> I'm sorry to bother you. <laughs> I might be having a little heart attack. <laughs> Nothing really, just some nausea, tightening of the jaw, dizziness, shortness of breath, muscle pain, achiness, this terrible pressure in my chest. Oh, really? They can be here in how long? <gasps> Two minutes. Can you make it 10? I thought I had gas. Turns out, I was having a heart attack. Heart disease is the number one killer of American women. So now I take care of my heart and I tell the women in my life to do the same. Sounds great, by the way. That's nice, sweetie, but that's not my heart. That is. Make it your mission to save your life and the lives of the women you love. Find out more from the American Heart Association at GoRedForWomen.org. Yeah, so. It's important to pay attention to our health as yes, women. Yes, yes. Um, so be, having a type A personality, being a woman, puts you at highest risk for having a heart attack. Uh, and we have to just pay attention to the annual checkups, the uh, screenings. Yes, yes. And as I, as I told you, I mean, I feel like breast cancer has a lot of, mm -hmm. you know, you hear a lot about breast yes, cancer yes, awareness, yes. wearing the pink ribbon. You know, heart attacks are more frequent in women than, than breast cancer, mm -hmm. and I feel like there's not a lot of talk about it. Yeah, and, you're, right, you're right. And women don't know. I was telling you that I didn't even know mm -hmm. that I had high blood pressure. I went to the doctor. I had no symptoms that I thought. <laughs> and I went to the doctor, and I indeed I had high blood pressure and had to be put on medication. And it wow. was a shock to me yeah. because I'm active and I eat you know, pretty well, and I'm, you know, I didn't think... I thought I was, I'm too young, to, yeah. frankly, to have, to be on heart medication. Mm -hmm. But women are constantly going at a very hectic pace. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you need to really take care of yourself and, and be aware, keep up with your physicals, be checked out, um, shortness of breath. Like I thought shortness of breath, I just thought I was a little out of shape mm -hmm. when I had shortness of breath. I didn't realize that that was a sign that I should go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. um, so it is really something you have to be aware of and hence, the slowing down yes. we keep talking about. We want women to slow down, mm -hmm. um, take those moments because they're so important. Very good point and reminder, um, especially for our New Year's uh, 
New Year's resolution یه یکی از کارهایی که میتونیم در سال جدید بکنیم بیشتر از همیشه اینه که با خودمون با آگاهی بیشتر با توجه بیشتر تنفسمون رو روش تمرکز بکنیم آرامشمون رو اینی که چکاپامون رو به موقع بریم و به صلاح سلامتی و اون چکاپ هایی که به سلامتیمون مربوط هستش ماموگرامی که باید بگیریم چکاپی که باید بگیریم من خودم I'm do I haven't been in I'm telling you I need to go and no, you have you, to go. We, I have to go have to so go. put it on the calendar make yourself a priority make me time a priority and yes. take those moments to make sure that you're healthy because like you say if, if you're not healthy as the mom as the center of you know trying to balance your family and manage your family then the family is not going to be healthy right the family falls apart and i have some interesting apart, yeah. um statistics yeah, for you us actually about the statistics. so um i i found these statistics that the average mom mm-hmm. uh takes 17 minutes a day for herself oh my goodness 17 which is wow. as you know nothing yeah um 51% of moms go weeks without a single minute of relaxation <sighs> nothing And then 72% of women are working outside of the home. So that kind of shows you mm-hmm. we've kind of, you know, we haven't lessened the housework. We haven't lessened how we're caring for our kids. We're working more than ever mm-hmm. outside the home and in the home. And then we are taxing ourselves at such a great level. It's no wonder mm-hmm. that women are having heart attacks and don't even know they're having them because we're running at such a, a breakneck pace. That's, that's right. So it's really, really important to um, take time to find more balance in your schedule. Uh, even though at times um, با این تکنولوژی جدید فکر میکنیم که میتونیم همه کار بکنیم میتونیم شاغل باشیم میتونیم خانم خونه باشیم میتونیم بچه ها رو منج بکنیم میتونیم همه این کارا رو انجام بدیم و خیلی از مادرام میدونم میتونین و میکنین ولی خیلی مهم هستش که رو اون کارایی که باید ضروری هستش برای بهداشت روانتون بهداشت سلامتی بدنتون و کلا اوقاتی رو داشته باشین که در آرامش به سر ببرین اگر با دوستاتون فان دارین اگر با شوهرتون با همسرتون با منتورتون با کسانی که باهاشون لذت میبرین و اون اوقات رو در آرامش به سر میبرین اون اوقات رو بیشتر بکنین و اون کسانی که شاید استرس براتون میارن و کسانی که تنش شما رو بالا میبرن اون روابط رو کمتر بکنین و شاید you know sometimes spending time with people who bring us peace and joy and are uplifting it, it can be a blessing and to be aware that you know there are those relationships that are toxic that sometimes as yes. women we need to draw healthy boundaries oh and to yes. say no yes to say no that's actually one of the tips <coughs> I was going to tell you I have yeah. some tips for kind of taking time because I know it is hard for mm-hmm. women to mm-hmm. take that mm-hmm. time they feel guilty right um right. taking the time so I have I have some tips and that is my number one mm-hmm. is saying No, mm-hmm. you wouldn't believe what clearing your schedule, mm-hmm. <laughs> even saying no to a, ki- a kid's birthday party, you feel bad. Oh, my child's like going to a party. You know what? You may That child may need some downtime. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. saying no to social things, uh, saying no to being, you know, volunteering. Sometimes you have to say no to that. You have to say no sometimes and have some space mm-hmm. on your schedule. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Another thing is reconsidering your wake up time. Mm-hmm. Because if you wake up 20 minutes earlier, 30 minutes earlier, you might get 20 or 30 minutes to yourself. Right. And, you know, setting your intention for the day, mm-hmm. having 20 or 30 minutes where you can meditate, read a book mm-hmm. or just you know be calm and just you know just set your intention for the day mm-hmm. that really makes a huge huge difference right. um also taking advantage of waiting time a lot of moms are we're sitting in waiting rooms we're at the doctor's office we're we're getting our exams aren't we we're right, getting our right, exams right. we're getting our physicals done <laughs> we're doing our breast exams we're going to the gynecologist yes we are yes we are <laughs> um so during that time you can take one of your spiritual books with you, a book that you've been dying to read, a fun book that you've been dying to read that people say, I have no time to read. How much time do we spend waiting to get the car washed, to get the car fixed? I carpool. Mean, carpool. Picking up kids. Yeah. Picking up kids. Yeah. You can bring a book with you. You yeah. can take a little rejuvenating break. You can meditate. Um, also on your lunch break, mm-hmm. you can make your lunch break 
a rejuvenating time. You can go take a, like a walk. You can go be outside. You know, you can use that time to your advantage. And then also late at night, mm -hmm. late at night after the kids are in bed, if you can keep your eyes open, which mm -hmm. I can't personally, <laughs> but if you can keep your eyes open after 9 p.m., uh, then you can take that time um, and do something for yourself. You can be, you know, turn off the television, be yeah. with your husband, be with yourself, take a bath. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Taking a bath, a bubble bath. Yep, a bath can one do wonders. One of my favorites. Yeah. Yes, me light too, some me candles. Too. Yes, and uh, I know going to the beach is one of your yes. favorites, and yes. mine too. Um, just being in touch with nature, hiking. You know, the hikes that we take. Sometimes I, I take the kids just to have that quiet time. But you're right. Just really having, um, you know, one of those vision boards and laying out what it takes to bring more peace and those pause moments that are meaningful to you yes. from, you know, finishing that book that you've been wanting to finish, you know, and uh, getting to those checkups and um, having just quiet time to yourself where you can just breathe and pray and light a candle and just have some calm, peaceful time. Or even daydream. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah, what, what, when you don't have downtime, mm -hmm. you don't dream. And I have found that even the warrior moms, that would have never come to me if I was just never taking time to myself to kind of think about mm. what do I want in my life? How how can I have more purpose in my life? If I didn't have a little space to think right. about that and a little peaceful time, that mm -hmm. would have never even come into my mind. I'd be too busy running everybody everywhere and doing everything for everybody else and not doing anything for myself. Right. So I know there's a website that you'd like to use and um, you use with your kids sometimes. Uh, tell us about this website and how do we utilize it? Yes, so it's, it, I think this is kind of genius, the healthy mind mm -hmm. map. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if you think about it, it's a really great idea because mm -hmm. a lot of people, you know, you use a food pyramid when mm -hmm. you're talking about food. There's a lot right. of ways we kind of uh, organize ourselves, but mm -hmm. the healthy mind platter, as they mm -hmm. call it on mm -hmm. the site, uh, is a way for you to organize your time in your mind so that you're kind of making sure that your mind and your and your uh, the way you're thinking is healthy. Mm -hmm. And it kind of covers all of the different uh, points mm -hmm. from having downtime right. to having focus time. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I just think having all these pieces of the puzzle mm -hmm. just makes you feel more peaceful. And, and you're right, when we're able to um, organize it, and integrate it all together, it makes more sense and it brings us more peace. Um, so focus time, let's start with the first one. Yeah, the focus um, time. Yeah, tell us about that. So How do you focus, use focus time, time is, you know, where you're doing things that are goal and task mm -hmm. oriented. Mm -hmm. And it can be a fun thing too. Like mm -hmm. it can be where you're building a Lego project with your child. It yeah. could be where you're cooking. It could be where you're working, but it's focus time. And that time is important that you focus on one task. Cause as you know, we're always multitasking sure. and, pe and people and studies have shown mm -hmm. that multitasking actually stresses women and men out. You yeah. think you're getting so much done, but you're actually not getting as much done as you would if you focused on one task at a time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so having focused time on something mm -hmm. really is actually calming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, when you have a task, a goal like oriented, yeah, right. it is. Yeah, it's it is like meditation. a meditation. So, so you pick something time. that you've you've been working on, whether it's a project, play with your children. Uh, I oh, that's the next show, one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and you focus on that. So you consider that as part of your way to decompress and relax. You focus on one thing. One task. And not one task and not multiple uh, tasks. Yes. All right, next and one. And then the other one is playtime. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Now this is where, and, and, and I, got, I have to say, a lot of people do not do this because they don't allow it. They let right. their kids play, but they don't play. Mm -hmm. It's time to be spontaneous. Right. It's time to be silly. I mean, right before we started the show, we had a big laugh. We were laughing about <laughs> how we were had, looked like we had no necks in our suits. We were laughing. It's fun to be spontaneous and silly and playful, and even better if you can be with your kids. You know, tickling them and running and chasing them, or playing a fun game with them, mm -hmm. where you act just absolutely crazy, mm -hmm. is really. It's good for the soul. It it's really, great really for is. the soul. Yes. I know a sense of humor is a, a very important life skill. I know uh, at our kids' uh, school, they're focusing on it this month. And it's really important to be able to laugh at yourself, to laugh with each other. And like you say, just get on the floor and get silly. Yes. It's healthy. Yes. And and some cultures don't allow it. You know, I think in, in our culture, especially, you know, to be serious, to focus on good manners. And seriousness is valued more. Yes. Where we find 
find with brain research that actually a big piece of brain development, children, children's brain evolve and develop through play. And so if you're not able to get down and dirty with kids and play, you're really taking away, you're robbing them from those early experiences that they can really take in, internalize, and their brain will grow healthier. So it's really okay. It's okay to get silly, to have sense of humor. Uh, بخندیم باهاشون مسخره بازی بکنیم و این قدرت رو داشته باشیم در رابطمون که همیشه جدی نباشیم و همیشه توقع نداشته باشیم که بچه هامون با دیسیپلین رفتار بکنن یا رفتار درست رو نشون میدن در از یکی از اون لایف سکیلز ها یکی از کارهایی که در زندگی میتونیم به بچه هامون یاد بدیم که برای رشد مغزشون مهم هستش اینه که مسخره بازی بکنن سنس اف هیومر داشته باشن طبع شوخ داشته باشن و اونجوری هستش که کمکشون میکنیم با سیلی بودن و اشتباه کردن و مسخر بازی در رابطه یک انتمسی نزدیکی بهتری به وجود بیاد The relationships get become more intimate also when you're silly and you have sense of humor Exactly right? and that's another thing they actually have on the map which yeah. is connecting time Right and, But the thing about the connecting time is it really needs to be mostly one on one Okay um, Even with your children taking 20 minutes, 15 minutes a day mm -hmm. to just connect with your own child, just one-on-one -on -one is so valuable. It's so valuable to them and they really appreciate it. And, it, and 15 minutes is really not that long, but you wouldn't believe how that really affects them. Mm -hmm. um, so connecting time, connecting with a girlfriend, one-on-one, mm -hmm. -on -one, having lunch, Connecting one-on-one -on -one is a very spiritual practice, and that is one of the things that they suggest on the on the mind platter as well. I love that one, and you know, I feel like sometimes with social media, um, we are tricked. We it's almost like we feel like we're seeing each other, yes. but we're really not. Yes, seeing we're not. Each other. I feel like That's I know a, where you are, yeah, Nelly, right? but guess what? I haven't <laughs> seen you in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so the belly to belly experience yes, yes. is really important. Boyad has been on Okati ke boham diye berin kahve bokhoin lunch bokhoin ham diye garu bebinin. Man, it's one of my New Year's resolutions is to go and you know be intentional about meeting, having these meetups with girlfriends and people that I love, and to increase the those connectional. Uh, moments. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so it's so important because yeah. at a dinner for 10 or a party, you don't get the connection no. you would get if you sat one on one with somebody. Right, right. Um, another thing on the healthy mind platter mm. is physical time. Oh, yes. Physical exercise. Ooh, I know sometimes we one. try to we try to avoid it as much, <laughs> as much as we can. No, but really it, just taking a walk, but also, you know, really <laughs> exercise where you actually working up a sweat yeah. really is so it, it clears your mind. It's therapeutic. Um, it's good for the heart. Mm -hmm. uh, it's It's, that is a really important part of balancing and you know kids need that too you mm -hmm. know they spend a lot of time with devices mm -hmm. they need time to just run and play outside run around and be very physical otherwise mm -hmm. you know you feel like you're always reprimanding them because they need that running time they yeah. need that physical time mm -hmm. that's a good point and sometimes uh, you know I know um, in my culture sometimes um, really taking time to exercise or take care بعضی از اوقات ورزش کردن یا اینی که مادر به خودش برسه is not a priority right you you, you are more focused on the family right. and and so it's really important to go back to the roots of um, peace learning and the foundation for building peace in the family and that you are important you know to, yes. to keep telling yourself and believe it in your heart that you know i am important i'm worth it i need to take care of my health and i need to commit to this activity whether it's hiking or whatever it is that makes sense to you and gets you motivated you know i i think you should go for it yes. and don't don't say I'm, I'm gonna start like from Monday or I'm gonna start you know just just do something right here and now you know in your living room if you're watching start you know lifting weights start moving. or moving start moving, moving. I mean and that's I think I think yeah. women don't want to go to the gym they're right. embarrassed they, they don't sure. like the way they look sure then okay walk around the neighborhood yeah. Yeah. walk around the neighborhood chase your kids in, in the yard right you right. know start small yeah. maybe do some sit-ups in your living room right. find a little exercise show on TV and Good do point. it there in your mm -hmm. privacy of your own home mm -hmm. 10 minutes give yourself 10 minutes 10 minutes I yeah. mean 10 minutes to start and then you know you can work up to mm -hmm. more and you can do more but I understand what that's like to mm -hmm. feel like you know you don't you don't want to go out there you're not feeling good about it you don't yeah. know how to start you're a little embarrassed mm -hmm. but just a walk mm -hmm. a walk mm -hmm. can be the beginning yeah 
So let's commit to it. I'm with you on it. You know, I sometimes slack off. It's it's not. It's been a, a rough holiday. Season. Yes, still going, <laughs> still going. <laughs> so um, definitely, you know, commit to giving yourself 10 minutes of activity time. Yep. So there's another, and this brings me to another one, which I know we talk about with kids. We talk about a timeout. You know, mm -hmm. you're in a timeout. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the the things on the healthy mind platter is time in. Mm. So that can be meditation. That can it. be uh, reading a book, quiet time with just yourself where you're reflecting, you're thinking. Sometimes, you know, you need to work out something in your mind. Like we were talking about mm -hmm. toxic, toxic relationships. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need that time to think about, wow, I don't know that this friendship mm -hmm. is really serving me. I don't know that this relationship mm -hmm. is really on the right track. I need mm -hmm. to, I need to call her. I mm -hmm. need to call mm -hmm. her or, or talk to my husband and I need to mm -hmm. figure out what, what's going on here. Mm -hmm. And you don't, if you don't have that time for reflection, that time for yeah. quiet, you really don't always get to those points. Right, right. Yeah, yeah the, the interconnection, interconnectivity or intrapsychic connection is so important. You have a relationship with yourself, you have a relationship with yourself, you can do it, 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 it's such an important point and I think as women we oftentimes fail to draw those healthy boundaries because we hate to say no right um, we're nurturing by nature you know we'd like to and you feel guilty inclusive. Yeah. you feel guilty yeah. I and I, I I'm guilty of it myself yeah. I feel yeah. guilty I feel guilty yeah. um, but you know I'm guilty of it myself I think it's hard to sometimes if you've had a friend for a long time right you don't feel that you and it's not serving you anymore I mean sometimes they say you are friends with somebody for a reason a season or a mm -hmm. lifetime mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sometimes you are friends with somebody for a season and that relationship is no longer really working in your life and it's okay to let that go it, you're not wishing ill on anyone you're not being negative it's just that you need to for yourself move on to a positive place yes that's important yeah. and could be part of your new year's resolution this year yes so yeah. um also they they also suggest obviously downtime where there is no goal nothing mm -hmm. you know just having downtime to just sit around and just daydream and you know put your feet up mm -hmm. and then of course sleep which that's a big one. I mean, that's a big one. That's one of the most obviously restorative mm -hmm. things you can mm -hmm. do for yourself is getting a good night's sleep. And I know that number is different for everybody. Some mm -hmm. people, you know, don't need as many hours as others, but they have shown. And even uh, Ariana Hunt Huffington did a yep. whole thing about mm -hmm. this. She mm -hmm. did a whole sleep study because yep. she was feeling so burnt out, so exhausted. Mm -hmm. She did a study and she found that napping mm -hmm. and sleeping and just getting that restorative sleep was so important to her business and her life and her relationships she made it a priority she right. literally put it above everything else mm -hmm. and she's had her health is so much better she feels happier mm -hmm. you know when you protect that mm -hmm. for yourself mm -hmm. that sleep that mm -hmm. how important that is for you you really actually can achieve more and right. you are happier mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's such a good point and I know some of you with uh, little ones um, that's always a big question how do we manage sleep with the little ones how do yes. we sleep train do we co-sleep oh, all those questions um, but uh, so, خواب خوب و خواب عمیق برای رشد و پرورش و سلامت مغز شما و روحیه و روح و روان خیلی خیلی مهمه بنابراین میگن که اگر میخواین صلح بیشتر و آرامش بیشتری بیارین در خانه خواب رو بیشتر بکنین just by increasing sleep in the family you're increasing peace automatically within the family unit so خیلی میتونه اهمیت داشته باشه بهش باید توجه بکنیم اگر که خوابمون خوب نیست کمک بگیریم always asking for help yeah. uh, to especially with the little ones so we can take a nap um, آرامش شما در خانواده خیلی مهم هستش و کمک میکنه به همه خانواده به 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 صلا بچه ها و 
همسرتون بنابراین بهش توجه بکنین و اهمیت قائل باشین این انتگریشن این به صلاح جفت جوری که میشه بین این پوینت هایی که در برش صحبت کردیم کمک میکنه که آرامش بیشتری در زندگی شما بیاره Those are great tips, it's practical um, How can they get this information? What's the website? Yes, I was going to just actually pull this up because yeah. I, I pulled it up myself It's called mindplatter.com okay. mindplatter.com okay. uh, You can find it there uh, mm-hmm. The guys that did the study are they I mean, they're very respected in, uh, mm-hmm. in their field, in, in psychology field, mm-hmm, and they. Mm-hmm. I, I just think it's kind of a great thing. It's and great. You should share it I with your it. kids yeah, because yeah. truly kids can kind of grasp this mm-hmm, with the little mm-hmm. pictures and they can understand that they need all these things too. Right. And I love when there is an integration within the family system where you, you are using something that is practical, is visual. Um, it, it seems to uh, work really well. Uh, moms can use it, and then you can share it with your kids. And you can it can be a great conversational piece. You you can talk about it. Mom, like, how are we doing with sleep? You know, you can right. And <laughs> also, encourage then, it. And then when they are kind of driving you crazy, which yeah, they right. can do, <laughs> um, you can say, you know what, I'm so sorry. Mommy has not had any of her downtime today or yeah. I haven't had any silly time any play time yeah. so that's that's what we need to do I mean you can use that as a tool in parenting where yes. you can, it's okay to take those moments and say oh I'm a little frustrated right mm-hmm. now I think mm-hmm. I need I think I, I haven't ha- taken everything off the healthy mind platter right. today so I think it's and it's, it's useful. tangible it's practical you can you can like you say you can actually talk about it and say well you know how you need play time or you need that me time or you need to have quiet time it's it, it's true about all of us it's yes. true about dad and mom and all of us and you can talk about it within the family unit and it can definitely bring more peace because it's a type of communication that you're communicating your needs and you're talking about what's important to you in the family right thank you for sharing that absolutely That's lovely. absolutely um okay now just going back to warrior moms what are some any upcoming events or any uh, news that you like to share with well her? right now we're we're planning our first event we haven't uh, we don't have a date for it yet but okay. if you subscribe if you hit the sign up button on uh, the warrior moms dot mm-hmm. co okay uh, www that the warrior moms dot co mm-hmm. uh, you'll find out about our events that are coming we mm-hmm. don't have a date yet we are looking to do um, a sort of evening event starting mm-hmm. out um, then we're gonna maybe do some daytime events where it's an all day it's like an eight in the morning until seven or six at night uh, where you're going to be getting all sorts of experts coming in in their fields, uh, talking about finances, talking about uh, mindful parenting, talking about all these different great topics, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. just so that moms can kind of get that all in one day. I know it is hard to arrange a babysitter, but this would be taking time for yourself, and it's very important. So. Um, the big news really is we w- we're looking for great stories. Mm-hmm. We want you to subscribe on the website so we can keep in touch with you. We can tell you about our events. And then we would love to, for you to share your story. If you have a story of uh, motherhood or if you know somebody that is an amazing mother and has been through something really tough or incredible and h- uplifting and heartwarming, we would love to hear your story. And So you can, you can um, nominate a friend. You can nominate you know. a friend. Okay. You can nominate an, uh, your mom, yeah, yeah. sister, you, yeah. you know, a lot of us have friends that we know that have been through incredible difficulties, have really, really risen to the challenge, yeah. and they are heroes in their own life. And we would love to know more about these women. Wonderful. I know um, you are very involved with Women in Charity and the Junior League. Tell us more about that and um, how people, you know, moms or those who are interested yes. can get involved with you. Yes, Junior League is an international uh, charity. Mm-hmm. It's a charity of women. Uh, And these women are doing incredible things. I think the face of charity is changing. I think what people want to really get something out of if they're giving their time to a charity. The Junior League is the only uh, group of of women that are are the only charity for women that is a training organization. Mm -hmm. So they offer all these leadership trainings, which is really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of go there and you can try different things and you can fail and that's okay. Uh, But it's JL, in Los Angeles, Mm -hmm. it's JLLA.org. Um, but the junior, there's a junior league uh, in almost every city and town, and they're international. Um, so if you look up the junior league, the Association of Junior Leagues International will tell you, uh, all, which is AJLI. Mm-hmm. Um, you can look that up and see if there's a junior league that you can get involved with. But it's 
from you, it's all about helping women and children. The entirety, entire charity is based on that, Wonderful. and it's a training organization. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here on Mom Talk. Viewers, as Tavajo Shoma Barname Modaro Kudak Seposkozoram, Tohafte Oyanda Ruzaruzgar Hoshva, Hodonegator.